Okay, we're back. Now I've got everything reinstalled in the reverse order of installation, or removal, I should say. Uh, get your, your covers back on, your, your serpentine belt tensioner, your belt back on, your motor mounts, uh, all necessary stuff. And here comes a moment of truth. Let's give it a try. No battery. Shit. Let's not be making a good connect here. We'll try this at home. Okay, here we go. Attempt number two with battery power to start the car after the timing belt replacement. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're cooking. Turn my other Ford off. Z-Tech in that one. All right, as you can see, appears to be a successful job. Sounds like it's hitting right on. Turn like a kitten. Woo! That's how we like them. Job might have took uh, two hours total. Uh, but I'm an experienced mechanic, so it'll probably take you three to four hours uh, if you're not real familiar with the stuff. But as you can see, with a little effort and a little bit of help, you can save yourself some, some dough. Oh, yeah. Got a check engine light here. We'll check on that. And the brakes here need replaced too, so I'm gonna be doing some other work on this car. But as you can see, we got it running. Gonna let it sit here and run, charge up the battery for a while. No big deal. It was actually an easy one compared to a lot of other ones I've done. Again, thanks for watching my video. I hope it helped you out. Maybe saved you a couple bucks. Every dollar counts. This is a busted knuckle shop. We'll be back with the next one from Ford, I'm sure. One last point to mention here would be to fill your coolant back up. And your reservoir as well. Don't forget to put that coolant in because the pump has no water and the block probably doesn't have any in there either. Uh, it's alright to test it for a few minutes, but then you need to fill it back up. And make sure there's no leaks down in the bottom after it's been running up to temperature. Okay, that's it. Signing off.